Arisen. Hail, sir. It seems you truly stand apart from the rest of us. Some sneered when I presented the Hydra's head. Said it was your feet alone that won it. In truth, I cannot deny it. I had no hand in it. It is plain fact. But what of the enlistment corps, then? What meaning does our fealty hold? I have no answer to give my men. To give myself. All through my reign, I foresaw the coming of this danger. And so I gathered men into armies, stones into strongholds. I readied for war, and then you were risen. You came to us, and the dragon with you. Pray, think on the meaning of that, and of your duty. I've heard talk. You're the Arisen, eh? It's quite an honor to be employed by the Duke himself. The Sovereign of this land ill comprehends the urgency of the danger it faces. This Eve's empty pomp is ample proof. All gaiety, without a hint of real concern. I'll allow, tis well understandable. A people numbed by two generations of peace cannot be expected to know true resolve. It is a lesson taught by fire and sacrifice. Pray let his grace learn before the fire takes all. But I ought not speak in such bold terms before his grace. Duke has seen different. Ah, the glorious return of the inimitable, the indomitable, the unforgettable! Scratch that last one. Who were you again? My, my. <laughs> Apologies, dear warrior. But to see a face austere as the castle walls adorned with... This? <laughs> Still, tis more agreeable than the endlessly dour air of most of my husband's sworn swords. Valor dwells in the heart, after all. The brave ought not need their raiment to speak for their metal, no? Hail, dear warrior of the lovely helm!